Well, hello everyone. It's me, Daniel, with Website Candy, and today I want to show you how to remove clouds very quickly within Photoshop. Now, there's several different ways you can do this. You can go over to your Spot Healing tool, you can go over to your uh, Patch tool, Content Aware tool, but this right here for me is the absolute easiest way to do it when it comes to Photoshop for me. So what I did here is I have an image and I want to remove these clouds and I have another image right here with no clouds and but this piece of mountain right here is awesome. That's what I really really want to bring to the forefront and I don't want the clouds to be the focus there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my quick selection tool or you can just hit W really fast and get to the quick selection tool and I'm just going to select the sky here and Photoshop is always looking for an edge so as you can see here it found the edge really easily you can do all kind of different little tools in regards to finding the edge and I can see right here that the little piece of wheat or grass or whatever you want to call it is not necessarily being selected correctly but I'm not gonna worry about that for now it's not a big deal so what I want to do is I want to hit option or I think it's control on the Mac on the PC but option on the Mac here and I'm just going to do a quick selection in regards to a layer mask. Layer masks are very popular in YouTube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this image back here and what I'm going to do, don't even have to unlock the layer, I'm going to just drag it over here on top of this artboard right here and hold shift so it drops right in the middle. So I want to go to my free transform but before I go to free transform I want to do a um, convert to a smart object, hit command T and anytime you got those crosshairs there, you're working with a smart object versus a dumb object. I'm just going to resize it, bring it up, and the mountains are going to be hidden back in here. And I can always adjust it if I need to. Now, the only thing I really need to do is take the layer and drag it underneath there. And as you can see here, that we have a sky with no clouds. And if you wanted to, you can even have like a 3D effect, which is really cool. And you can even pull that up and you can kind of show the mountains in the background back there. So it kind of gives it a feel to death. And we can go a little bit bit further and we can go over here and do a drop shadow on this layer right here and we can kind of play around with the different adjustments here and let's go over here to normal and I can even control it on top of here as well but I can even show a little bit of a shadow which makes it look even more uh, defined there or I can even play around with my different uh, layer options so I can say inner shadow outer shadow I can do all kind of different things to it to give it that 3d type effect there so let me know what you come up with and enjoy